You've waited all this time now in the Z-Line kitchen at Advantage Appliance to make our way to the guacamole that we're going to make. So welcome to Home Hospitality with Heidi. Again, in the Z-Line kitchen at Advantage Appliance, I figured... You know, so many gardens are coming into play now. I've been picking some broccolini already, uh, some basil, but I figured why not stick with the fresh ingredients? And those who know me personally know my love for Mexican food. I'm pretty much at the Mexican places every single week, at least once, let alone my own tacos. And so I thought we'd start with the guac. Um, and so I already pre-made or pre-cut some avocado here. So we're going to take two fresh avocados and this is just going to be a rough recipe. We've done a couple of these um, segments thus far. And one thing you might be noticing now with my cooking is uh, I don't really measure and that's just a thing I do. I measure with the heart. Baking's not necessarily my style. That is definitely a recipe I do have to follow because uh, recipes uh, for baking are, they're so scientific. Here it's all to taste because you never know how <laughs> baking's going to go once it's in the oven and comes out. Okay, so we we took the pit out. We took some softer avocados, so we're going to have to smash it. Uh, scrape it out. I like to use a spoon for this. Okay, so we got that. Now it's going to chop away here. So we're going to use some fresh parsley that is washed, and we're going to get that chopped pretty finely here. I think, I think I've actually used parsley for every one of these home hospitalities with Heidi that we've done so far because we've done chimichurri, we had uh, chivapchiche, and you can always find those recipes uh, that I did, those recipes on kfyrtv.com. Just click on that North Dakota Today tab. Um, so we used parsley. There was something else that we made too. Oh, it was the kraut salad. That one did not have parsley, but that one's one of my favorites. All right, so we're gonna chop that. Uh, you can also use cilantro too. I just use whatever I have in the fridge. Um, I'm gonna do a purple onion for color, and we're also gonna finally chop this. Onions are always a little tricky to cut. So we're gonna, I think, use half an onion in this case. So again, two avocados, a little bunch of parsley, not the whole thing. Maybe like five or six leaves or stems. Okay, we're gonna leave that there for now. Chop, chop, chop. Oh man, I love guac. You could just sit down to a bowl of that with a couple of chips. And I was thinking here for the next one, so in two weeks from now, I was thinking we're gonna make our own homemade tortilla chips. I think they're with uh, corn and we're not gonna fry them, we're gonna bake them. So I thought that could be a good idea. Cause what is better when you go out to eat, right? And then the chips come hot, why not make them yourself and make them hot there? Okay, so we got that. All right. So garlic because everything has to have garlic so again i think fresh ingredients are key and i'm a big hand chopper i don't necessarily like to use like a little i don't even know what you call those the ones where it chops and you just push down on it or even a food processor i think chunkier is good because then you do it too much and you liquefy things um, it just doesn't i think end well there's always a time and place for it. Okay, so now we took half a lime here, and this is kind of this is where the liquefying comes in. You're gonna eventually get things going with this lime. Some limes are always harder than others. We'll get a little bit going there. The other half, we're probably gonna need more. Now, one thing I don't have in this recipe, which I I just didn't have at home at the time, uh, jalapenos. I think that depends on your spice level. Um, but this one doesn't. You can easily add a jalapeno, kind of taste to how you like it again, uh, just because jalapenos can be spicy. I've always learned with a jalapeno that it depends on the growing season. Like this summer, uh, I think a lot of us could agree it just hasn't been that hot. I mean, last the June month here was only 0.4 degrees below normal, so near normal, but we only had about two or three days near 90 degrees. A couple summers ago, we had triple digit heat for many days and so the summer's just not comparable to uh, past. So the gardens are slow going, but we, it depends on the jalapeno though. Jalapenos need that heat for them to get spicier. All right, we're gonna put a couple of dashes of pepper here. I did do half a tomato. I did choose Roma and we're gonna do some salt. Eventually we're just gonna smash it all together. So a couple dashes of uh, salt there and we're going to take a fork 
And hopefully here, some of the avocados might be a little harder than others, so it might take extra time. But eventually you're just gonna mix this. Yeah, see, some of these avocados are a little tough. Probably should have, hmm, let's see here. This is always a problem with avocados. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna chop away at some of this. But either way, you're gonna mix, 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 and it should all come together. So you're really gonna just be able to see a little bit of chunk activity, <laughs> if you wanna say that, um, back and forth in the bowl. So we're unfortunately out of time, but you get the picture. So, you know, it's gonna end up like the way guac is. But either way, I can't wait to dig in.